hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video i'm going to talk about ios 15.0.2 update as you can see this is the update that i have received yesterday and it came in about 526.1 mb on my iphone 12 yes guys so this is the iphone 12 i have been using and i have got 15.0.2 update on my iphone 12 so if you are using ios 15 stable series of update you should be able to get this update by now so the size could be different for you if you are using any other device rather than iphone 12 so it could be different so in this video we are going to talk about new changes bug fixes and what are the new features and are there any new features or is this update is only about the bug fix we are going to discuss about that so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel then give this video a thumbs up and i would request you to subscribe to the channel because this gives me immense motivation to make more of this kind of videos now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings and let me quickly go to the general section if i go to the general and about section as you can see the software version it says ios 15.0.2 and the build number is 19a404 and unfortunately with my iphone 12 i did not get a modem update so as you can see the, the modem firmware is the similar 2.09.10 and i had taken a screenshot let me see that whether i can find that as you can see before updating the build number was 19a348 and if you take a look at the available space which was available before updating it was 29.63 gb and if i just go to the about section as you can see it is more or less similar 29.5 gb is available after the update now if you're not able to see the update what you need to do go to the general go to this software update and then check for the software update of course if you're not able to see that click on this automatic updates you know turn this off and turn this back on then your phone should be connected to the wi-fi and you should be able to see the update if you are on stable series of updates now for the people who are using ios 15.1 beta softwares this updates are not for them this updates are for the people who are using ios 15 stable series of softwares so then again let's now talk about the new changes specific with ios 15.0.2 it's being rolled out within two weeks of rolling out of ios 15.0.1 people were actually expecting 15.1 to be honest but then again it was quite expected that you know considering the number of existing bugs we had and with this update apple has tried to fix couple of bugs which were important so the first thing is if you go to the text message or i message if somebody is sending you any message and you know photos included with that now in later point of time if you think to delete that thread entirely the photos which have been saved to the photos album those photos were unfortunately getting deleted too with the deletion of the complete thread in your iMessage which was not supposed to happen and many users have you know complained about the same issue so Apple has fixed that issue now the next bug is if you are having a MagSafe wallet guys this is not a MagSafe wallet this is you know just a replica that i'm using this is not a magsafe wallet the magsafe wallet is a you know magsafe accessories which actually you know sits at the back of your phone i'm just trying to show you if you have you know a magsafe wallet just like this so you know there were some problems with find my application so previously with the users they were complaining they are having iphone you know magsafe wallet they were actually not been able to pair that magsafe wallet with this find my application so those issues have been now fixed now one more thing is people were talking a lot about this carplay if i go to the general and if i click on this carplay so previously people were having real trouble you know connecting their phone to their car or using the carplay or although it was getting connected sometime due to some weird issues the the song which was playing it was getting stopped or there were many issues with carplay so apple has fixed that with this update now one more thing is if you are using you know find in Mac or iTunes in Windows if you are particularly want to you know restore iPhone 13 models specifically there were a bug actually to be honest so because of which the iPhone 13 restorations were not happening for few users so Apple has resolved that issues as well so more or less this 15.0.2 is all about fixing some of the major bugs which were actually present in 15.0.1 and iOS 15 so based on the people feedback 
that you know apple take things very seriously and try to fix those with ios 15.0.1 and 15.0.2 now this is for your information whenever you see an update between 0.1 and 0.2 like 0.1 0.2 those updates are always going to be the security bug fixes so if i tap on this apple security page and if i click on this ios 15.0.2 apart from the things that i have just mentioned you know there were multiple bug fixes regarding the security as well now talking about the battery life so let me again go to the settings and let me click on this battery and again battery health as you can see the battery health hasn't dropped on me so it is still having the 100% battery health and if you have not updated your iphone to ios 15.0.2 i would strongly urge you to update to ios 15.0.2 and also talking about the battery life as you can see yesterday i have updated and battery life is something you know that i actually take few days at least four to five days before i can comment on that so stay tuned to my channel i will definitely come back to you with a battery life update on ios is 15.0.2 so then again there were no new features i was able to find on my iphone 12 let me know in the comment section below if you have already updated to ios 15.0.2 what is the iphone that you are using with this note i just want to end this video this video was all about ios 15.0.2 and i just wanted to let you know guys that i have received ios 15.0.2 and what are the new bug fixes that comes with ios 15.0.2 let me know if you have any questions and queries in the comment section below and of course if you like the video give this video a thumbs up and also it would be you know nice if you could just subscribe to the channel because that means a lot and you know it gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you guys now with that being said i will see you on my next video bye